Transferring your image to a clear transparency is essential if you want to transfer your image onto a screen. For this, you need your drawing, you need clear transparency, and you need India ink pens. You should never ever use permanent marker because then you will not be able to reuse your transparency later on. The goal here is for your pens to start blocking out the light. So I'm going to tape my mylar to my paper so that if I need to pick this up and come back to it another time, I don't ever lose my place. I'm using my fine point India ink pen to start tracing out my letters and tracing out my image with the fine lines. India ink takes a little bit of time to dry. So I'm starting in the middle knowing that I'm going to have to do a lot of turning of my image to avoid smudging my image with my hand. Tackling one small area at a time, I'm going through and tracing everything out. I need to go through on all of my dark lines and fill it in using the brush pen later, but for right now, I'm just focused on tracing it out and then I'll move to my brush pen. I will periodically check and make sure that the image is all lined up. You can see here that when I pick up my mylar, I can see the image that I've drawn. If I put a separate piece of paper underneath, that way that will let me see exactly what's on the mylar. If I zoom in really close, you can see that my lines aren't very straight and they're a little bit jagged from tracing. I need to go back in with my pen now and straighten up all of those lines, get them nice and smooth because whatever is printed on this mylar, everything that I've traced out is exactly what's going to go on my screen. So I'm just going to go over all of these little jagged edges and clean them up using my fine point pen. On this part of the drawing, you can see some areas that aren't fully filled in. You want your ink to be completely opaque. So I would recommend on any areas where you can see through them or it's not a fully opaque part of the image, you go through one more time with your ink pens. Your brush pen will do nicely to fill in large areas. And you need to put one more layer of ink on any thin areas of your drawing so that it's completely opaque. This is what a finished mylar looks like. This is not my picture on top of the drawing. This is my picture on top of white paper. So here's where I can go through and do a final check of my image. And I need to make sure that I have all of my values and all of my textures that I want incorporated into my image present on the mylar. Whatever you put on the mylar is what will be printed.